uh, the word form. Now, think about this. The word form is the term for a potter shaping a pot. Since man is made from the dust of the ground, that's where we return when we die. And that's in Genesis 319. Although God created light with a mere word. Help me say, God, God created light with a mere word, let. And that word let mean allow. He created man by fashioning a body out of mud and clay and then breathed life into the clay. So he didn't, everything else he didn't have to fashion. He didn't have to fashion nothing but man. Everything else he said let, and there it was. But when he got ready to man, he didn't say let there be a man. He said let us make man. So he fashioned man in his own hands, as we would see them, uh, his own hand, and we don't know what God's hand looked like, but we know that God fashioned man and like he was on a wheel and like he was on a spinner. He fashioned him, and then the Bible said he breathed life into the clay, and the breath destroyed the infusion of human spirit with his mortal intellect, intellectual and his mortal relationship and spiritual capacity. Nobody else God did that to. He didn't have to give a puff to, puff to no animal for them to be alive. He didn't have to puff in nothing in the whale for the whale to be alive. But when it came to us, he put a special puff of himself in us. That's why we are God's chosen people. Now, when we look at that, the breath described the infusion of the human spirit with the, his moral spirit. Human and animal's life is similar, but the breath of life makes human distinct from all other creatures. We are wonderfully made. Now, uh, the term living being, man became a living being, is the same term you, Jesus used for the animal's life. He said the animals were a uh, living being, but human and animal's life is similar. But the breath of the life made human distinct from all other creatures. Now, Notice the word light of men. In them, he said, was light, John said. If you ever feel your life is so full of problem, God would never understand. Remember, he made us who we are. Eternal darkness is only Christ. That Here's the difference. Why is eternal life in Christ? Light is to all men. Christ's life is light to all men. Help me say, Christ's life Christ. is life all men. Now, because the death brings eternal darkness and only Christ's eternal life plants in us will keep us alive. So without Christ, we are dead. We're dead. We was dead until we were born again. We were dead to sin in our trespasses. Even though we could move our hand, we could talk, we could walk, we were still dead as Christ knew us. Because until you have been born again, you're not alive to Christ. You do not have the Zoe kind of life. You only have the bio kind of life. And that is the life that is only the life for human beings. It's the life for flesh, but it's not the godly kind of life. And so uh, Christ is eternal life because he is God. Now in verse 5, he said, And the light shined in darkness, and darkness comprehended it not. Now, the Lord gave me a revelation on this because I had been using this uh, out of his contact. Uh, and I've been saying that, that, that light, that, that, that man, the devil tried to put out the light, he kept it from seeing the light, and that is in Corinthian. But what it means by the light shined in the darkness and the darkness comprehended it not, you know what I'm saying, that the people that was in the darkness, they couldn't get it, but that wasn't what it was saying. What it was saying is that the darkness couldn't control it. The devil was never able to control the life of God. He wanted to control, he wanted to apprehend, it. He wanted to be controlled. And that's what the world wanted to do. They want to control everything. If the world could control God, then they would have everything. If money could buy God, we wouldn't have an opportunity. But they tried. They couldn't comprehend it. They couldn't buy it, and they can't control it. Nobody can control God but himself. Nobody can control God but himself. And so that's, that's, that's what we have to look at. Darkness comprehended it not. It couldn't take, the world could not take hold of it, and they couldn't overpower it, and they can't understand it. And don't you understand? Do, have you heard so many times people say, I don't understand. They understand everything. They got scientists. They can understand a, they can understand a molecule. They can understand everything. But when it comes to understanding Jesus, they just can't understand it. So as human, we cannot, we are not able to control or over take uh, the light 
All we can do is receive this light and become a new creature in Christ. But they cannot control it. They can't control it. I don't care what they do and how they try to control it. They can't control it. And they try. Don't you think they have not tried? They tried so many times to control it. Now, now look at verse 6 and 8. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. The same came for a witness, to bear witness of the light that all men through him might believe. He was not that light, but was sent to bear witness of that light. So God sent a man by the name of John. John was not the light. He was only sent to bear witness of the light. And so what we have to understand then, just the, the writer of John is not the John that he sent to baptize him. So he was John, and you have a lot of folks that John the Baptist. His name was not John the Baptist. His name was John. What he did was baptize. And, and they called him John the Baptist. And we have to be careful sometimes because they're not the only one, but most churches start a denomination out of a word or a name. And so the Baptists take John the Baptist and said we're Baptist because we baptize. We said we're church of God in Christ because God with Jesus was found in Christ. And on and on and on. But we have to be careful how we do these things because we can start a denomination. And this is why we have so many denominations because they started it from a stripture. A stripture of their choice of their choice and made that stripper of their choice the only thing that should be and you cannot put Jesus in a capsule and contain him he's too big to contain in a capsule he's too big to be contained in any one denomination he's too big to be contained in a non-denomination he is God and nobody that's what he said that the light shined in the darkness but the darkness could not apprehend him or come they couldn't contain him they couldn't control him because nobody can do that and then in verse 8 he said he was not the light but was sent to bear witness of the light John told him he wasn't the light he was not the light then they wanted to know if you're not the light then who are you then John told him I'm just a voice crying in the wilderness uh, God sent a man by the name of John and John was not the light he was only sent to bear witness of the light verse 9 that was the true light which lighteth every man that cometh into the world verse 10 he was in the world and the world was made by him and the world knew him not he came unto his own and his own received him not isn't there something that you can make something and you put the breath of life in it and you make it and it don't even recognize the maker and there are people that don't even recognize the maker they said that there is no God they recognize the word of men that have no authority and cannot prove what they said they can only supply a supplement of theory to what they think because none of them was here but even though they wasn't here they break a supplement but they supplement a theory that man came and every the world came in through revolution things evolved but what they don't seem to can understand they cannot understand and they can't say where the thing came from they don't know where the thing came from that revolved into what we are. But they said it was a one cell amoeba. Well then brothers and sisters, where did the one cell come from? Where did the ocean come from? Where did the bane come from that they said it was an explosion? Where did it come from? If it wasn't, a, nobody heard a noise. Where did the bane come from? They were not there. And how did the bane bring all of this into existence? That is crazy to believe something like that. But since they can't control God and they don't believe in God, they supplement a theory and the people take the theory for truth and the theory is a lie. And they let the theory be taught in the school, but they don't want the word taught in the school. And so our children are confused because they don't understand. But if they wanted to understand creation, it is belief. Go back to the Bible. In the beginning, God created heaven and earth. And the beginning, God created heaven and earth. And God was bad enough to create it. And then we got to understand that there was a fight in heaven. And the devil was created. He was a created being. If you read the Bible, the devil was created. He was a created being. He was the morning star. He was the light. God made the light. And he, the, the devil was a star. And that's what the devil consists of. He was the morning star. And he was outshining all the other stars. And the Bible said pride was found in his heart. His pride was found in his heart. And God cast him out 
out of heaven and he fell to the earth and when he fell to the earth then the Bible said that he wanted to control the earth and when he wanted to control the earth he said I'm going to build my I'm going to build my kingdom above the cloud so he had to be on the earth because clouds are between heaven and God I need some help Holy Ghost but the devil God said you're not going to do it and so God got upset with, with, the, with the earth and the devil was walking in the stones in the stones where the garden of Eden the gold the silver everything was on the earth there was nothing buried in the earth everything was on it and the yeah. devil was walking around in it he was wrapped up in it he had pride in it but God said before I let you take over my earth he got mad with it with him and the Bible said in, 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 in Isaiah 24 and 1 God picked the earth up turned it upside down and shook everything on the inside that's why man have to mine gold from the inside. Gold is not on the outside. Diamonds are not on the outside. And, he, and then he put Satan in a bottomless pit. But Satan then is a mind thing. He's a spirit. So the bottomless pit, Satan can operate your mind without you looking at him. He can put thoughts in your mind and thoughts in your heart. And you got to remember, he brought down a third of the angels out of heaven. And those were stars then. Those were the little stars. Y'all ain't going to talk to me at all. And he brought a third of them down. And those are the little demons that gets it to you and worked with you but listen God said if the devil knew he didn't have any power and so what the devil did he took the power of man God told Adam he didn't matter of fact the Bible said that God made everything before he made man because when he made everything he had to have a man to, 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 to take care of it and Adam was the last thing and God put him in the garden and told him to take care of it and when the devil found out that Adam was in the garden that's when he came to Eve with the fruit and when Adam saw that the fruit was good for Eden and he ate often he ate the fruit then he violated God he did not sin they couldn't call it sin because sin had not been there uh, sin he, what he did he committed treason he took what was God and gave it to the devil And so taking what was God and gave it to the devil, he committed treason. So the devil now have a portion of the earth. He can operate as long as the time of man is. And the devil know he have that right. And so the Bible said that after that, John has gone back telling us in the beginning it wasn't like that. In the beginning it was God. In the beginning God created everything good. In the beginning God made a man. And in the beginning God did this. He said, now I'm just a voice out here. That's all I am. I'm just a voice telling the people I'm just telling them what happened in the beginning I'm not telling them about Jesus being a baby because it doesn't matter about him being a baby when he was a baby he didn't save anybody when he was a baby he looked it good when he was in the crib he looked it good but he didn't save anybody when he was 12 years old he didn't save it y'all ain't gonna talk to me he didn't save anybody so John said I don't have to go back to the genealogy I'm going back to the beginning who he was from the beginning in the beginning he was a savior in the beginning he was God in the beginning he was life in the beginning he oh my god hallelujah hallelujah my god my god thank you lord thank you lord thank you lord and that's why john took him back uh to the beginning and 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 and, and he came unto his own and his own received him not jesus became a man to reveal the truth to all people. Gee, God was in the world. He made the people. He made the people he made didn't know him. He came to those he made his own and they did not welcome him. He he had he 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 had doors slammed in his face by his own people. Lord, I need some help here. Now, but as many as received him Verse 12, as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name. Now, the one that believed on his name, they believed that he was the savior of the world. That's what they believed. He was the savior of the world. That's why the, 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 the John said to Peter, this is the Christ. This is Jesus. He, that's John recognized him as being the Messiah. They were waiting for the Messiah. And the the Jews thought he was going to come through some magnificent way. He was going to come and establish his kingdom on earth. But Jesus said, my kingdom is not on earth. My kingdom is not of this world. If my kingdom was of, of this world, when the Roman soldiers attacked him, he said, if my kingdom was of this world, then the people would come to my rescue. He said, but my kingdom is not of this world. If I wanted some help, I could have called and God would have sent a legion of angels. But I didn't need a legion of angels because I came for his sake. 
My God, my God. So, so, so the believe in his name mean that they believe that he was the savior, uh, the son of God. Uh, to, to them, he gave the light. He gave them the right to become legitimate entitlement to the position of children of God. Now, I want you to listen to this. If you're born again, point to yourself, say, I am born again. And since I'm born again, I have a right, a legitimate right. To be the son of God. And it does not yet appear. What I shall be. But when I see him. I'm going to look like him. For as he is. That's the way I'm going to be. That's the way I'm going to be. I may look one day now. I may look like I have on some flesh now. And I do have on some flesh. But I got something on the inside of me. That gives me legitimate rights. I have a right to praise God. I have a right to praise God. I have a right to talk about God. I have a right to be inheriting of what God has. Look at somebody and say, what Jesus has is mine. And I have a right because I'm in the will. I said, I'm in the will. He signed me in the will. He signed me in the will when I was born again. I have a right to praise God whatever belong to Jesus. It belonged to me too. I am a child of God. Lord, help me here today. Thank you, Lord. Verse 13, which was born not of blood, not of the will of flesh, nor of the will of man, but God. This new life I have. Hallelujah. This new life I have. The new spirit birth is not of blood, not of the will of man, but is only the will of God. It is in him I live. It's in him I move. It's in him I have my beginning. And so nobody, help me say nobody, can snatch me out of God's hand. If I don't volunteer and get out of his hand, nothing, nothing can move me. I said nothing can move me. They can kill my body. But they can't take Christ. Y'all, I need some help here. They can kill my body, but I can't, they can't take Christ. I can be sick, but they can't take Christ. I can have cancer, but it don't take Christ. I can have arthritis, but it don't take Christ. I can have a lot of diseases, but it don't take Christ. I can have a heart attack, but it won't take Christ. There's something within me. I said there's something within me uh, that if I go out with a heart attack, uh, the old flesh would die, but I still have life. Uh, if I go out with cancer, uh, the flesh would die, uh, but I still have life. Uh, I got some life uh, that nobody knows about, uh, but the Holy Ghost, uh, the Holy Ghost. Uh, that's why somebody said, go ahead uh, and nail my hand to the cross. Uh, go ahead uh, and put the spear in my body, uh, but I'll, uh, I'll rise again. Uh, I get up again. I say yes. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. 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 John, John put 13 verses before he told him about who Jesus really was. He took 13 verses to tell about his pre existence. Then in verse 14, he said, and the word was made flesh. The word was made flesh and dwell among us and we beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. He said the word became flesh. Jesus, God's son, became human with limitation in time and space. You know, this one thing that a real man won't do, a human man will not give up their human power for a lesser power to be something else. Man is grabbing after power. They want more power. The more power they get, the more they want. They want to be God. But Jesus had all power. Help me say he had all power. But he loved us so much. Help me say he loved us so much that he gave up his, some of his own power. And my God took on the power of man. Because he took power of man, he gave up his own power and became a natural man. I need some help, Holy Ghost. And Jesus took to himself the physical nature of human 
are not our sin and dwell among us in a divine presence displayed before us. We was able to see the truth before our eyes. The title, only begotten son, it means a unique one of a kind. We see and we be Jesus became human and, and he did it for three reasons. One, he became human to be a perfect teacher. We can watch Jesus. Jesus was a perfect teacher. There was no guile found in his mouth. Every time Jesus said something, it either astounded the people or they was confused because he was a perfect teacher. And when they sent John's disciples out to see who Jesus was, they said, we never heard a man teach like this man. We never saw anybody that had the authority like this man. This man don't teach like the Pharisee. He teach with one with authority. My God, and when he walked with them, the disciples said, we, my God, did not our heart burn within while he walked with us. He was a different man. My God, and the second reason that Jesus came, he came to us in Philippians 2 and five he wanted to be like us he said let this mind be in you which was also in Christ Jesus we need the mind of Christ Jesus so Jesus wanted our mind to be like him and then Jesus came and he died in our stead he showed us what giving up death is that you give up all for somebody else huh? what manner of man is this huh? that will take our stripes huh? what manner of man is this huh? that would be rude be punished for what we did what manner what man of man is this that was bruised for our iniquity? What man of man is this huh, that was wounded for our transgression and bruised for our iniquity? And with his stripes, we are healed. Hallelujah.